Let's make a 90 degree bend at a flat plate. This plate here is gonna be 1 8 We're gonna put a bend mark here, one inch in. Let's use a square to draw the line. Let's make sure we're using the proper tooling. We have the punch here with a radius nose that matches the material thickness. And our V block is eight times the material thickness. So that is correct right there. On our screen here, we're gonna be using the jog mode to set the bend. We're using the foot control. Make sure the back gauge lit is enabled. So it's where it needs to be. This will not work unless these two lights are on. The RAM, everything's calibrated. We do not need the RAM delay. And the RAM double stop we will use and that'll be set in the slow mode. Right now we got the high at two, slow at 4.75. That's where it'll stop for this tooling. We got 60 tons of pressure, more than enough. Uh, we got no bend allowance on this one. And the back gauge is at 12 inches, so it's out of the way. The bend uh, depth is more than enough, so it's past the 90. So we're gonna have to set that, and that's what we need to do here today. Okay, so here we go, we're in the machine. Use the down button. There's your ram double stop. There should be clearance here to get your part in. You can make that a little tighter, a little bigger, or not use the ram double stop at all. You can just jog your machine down. So we'll line that up there. Tighten this up. Obviously trying to keep your fingers out of the way. We're, half comes up on one side, half comes up on the other side. So 45 degree bend set here. We just have to bring this up till it touches. Gotta get used to that foot pedal. Little taps. You want it slightly over. There's a little gap there. So it's touching there, it's slightly over. Let's come over to the machine. It's at 5.340, we wanna save that. So let's hit the bend. And then the cursor comes over, we're gonna press and hold that for three seconds. And that turns into 5.34. There we go right there. That's what we want. And we can save this program as well when, when we're happy with this. So let's take this out. The number still stays the same and we'll save this in a minute if it's good. Let's have a look. And it's pretty close. I think we're pretty good right there. If we need a little bit more, if it's a half a degree out, we'd probably add about uh, three thou. So just one, two, three, and that'll be about one degree. So three to four to five would be about a degree when you're close. So that's if you want more bend. If you want less bend, you need to go the other way, so subtracting off, so if you overbent it. We're pretty good, so we're gonna leave it there. We're gonna go exit, one to save, so one, and three gets you back into the run mode. So here we are here, so we've set the bend. We're ready for an auto or manual mode, so we can go ahead and we can bend this. So we'll go ahead and we'll bend the other side. It is in manual mode, so it just cycled. Let's square this up to the machine. down hard. As soon as you take your foot off, the machine will come up. This is where you're gonna need to hold your piece. And then there's your repeatability of your bent part. So you have set the machine, you're ready for production in the manual or automatic mode. And the reason you don't go into production in the jog mode is because you'll overshoot the number. The 5.340 will be overshot. So right now the Y is where the machine is at. And the ram double stop is on, and the bottom 
we overshot it by five six thou so that overshot that whereas if we go into the auto mode or the manual bring that down ram double stop and the number here is what we want to look at as we come down it'll hit bang on within one thou that's why we go into production with the auto or manual mode because the jog will overshoot or undersuit so only use jog to set your bend there's your bends and use a bend set that'll be the same for every other bend just get a bend set for different degree bends it's good